Hi everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me. This is Heather Lloyd Martin and I'm CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Today I want to talk about a topic that is really important to freelance copywriters, whether you are just starting out or if you have been in the business for a while, which is how to ask for money before you start the writing project, otherwise known as how to get a deposit. And this is a really interesting uh, situation for copywriters because a lot of times they're afraid to ask for that deposit, especially new freelance copywriters. They're afraid that the client is going to be put off by the request and walk away and say, well, why would I give you any money now? Because you haven't even started my project. I'll pay you when it's done and no sooner. Or they're afraid that they're going to ask for too much money and lose the gig. So they'll ask for a 50% deposit, deposit, the client will, will say no way, and then they lose the entire account because of that. Uh, there's also that weird psychology that comes into play where we've been brought up to believe that asking for money is bad. And so we'd rather not do it and figure, all right, I'll just do the work and I will get paid when it's done and everything will work out fine. Well, the flip side of that is that it doesn't always work out that way. And uh, it's happened to me, it's happened to many other copywriters as well, where you decide to waive that deposit, you do all the work, take care of the revisions, turn it into the client, and then the client doesn't pay. Or the client slow pays you, so you're spending a lot of time chasing down that receivable. And that puts you in a really bad position. The way you protect yourself, and this is perfectly reasonable, and it's perfectly okay, and it's done all the time, so it's not like you're asking for anything weird, is to ask for a deposit 30 to 50% down before you start work. This makes sure that you have some money on your side of the table and shows that the client is serious, that they are willing to invest in your time and willing to put down money accordingly. Now, if the client kicks back and says, no, we can't do that, I don't feel comfortable, I'll pay you when you're done, that's a really huge red flag. And you may want to consider walking away from the gig accordingly. You know, if nothing else, you have to consider, all right, if can I afford it if this person flakes out and doesn't pay? And if that answer is no, you may want to try to find another client to fill their spot. Now, if it's a small, quick job, you know you're going to be done in a couple, three days, then another thing you can do is ask for the money up front because, again, you're going to be done in just a couple, three days, and that way all the money is on your side of the table, and it takes care of the receivables all at once. You don't have to worry about billing them after the gig. Some copywriters will actually ask for the entire cost of the project up front, and they'll get the pro cost of the project up front. So never be afraid to ask for money and set those terms because it definitely protects you and shows, again, that the client is serious about working with you. Now, if you are a freelance copywriter, maybe you're just starting out or you've been in business for a while and you're looking to figure out how to make money without working so darn hard, uh, you might want to check out my website at seocopywriting.com where I've got the Copywriting Business Bootcamp. It is information from 12 leading experts on how to build your business. And you can also get free advice by sending an email to the address you see on the screen, writeforincome at aweber.com. And also, if you would like any SEO copywriting tips, then I have a free news, weekly newsletter. You can also sign up for daily updates at seocopywriting.com. So thank you very much, everyone. If you have any questions about today's video or have ideas for topics for future videos, I would love to hear from you. You can reach me at heather at seocopywriting.com or find me on Twitter at, at Heather Lloyd. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.